I'm Andrea Bischoff, Assistant Director for the International Center of Colorectal and Urogenital Care at Children's Hospital Colorado. When a patient is born and diagnosed with Hirschsprung disease, an operation is needed. After the operation, long-term follow-up is necessary and in many cases, bowel management is required. If the operation is done by us until the age of toilet training, we keep monitoring the patient and based on how he or she is behaving, we may start them on laxatives to avoid constipation or in emodium and fiber to decrease the number of bowel movements. The goal at this stage is to try to establish regularity that will help toilet training when the time comes. If the operation is not done by us, we like to examine the patient under anesthesia to determine the integrity of the anal canal, since this is the area where the sensation happens and sensation is one of the three components responsible for bowel control. The other two are motility and sphincters. If we find out during the examination under anesthesia that the anal canal or the sphincters have been damaged, we will recommend daily enemas to artificially keep the patient clean in the underwear for 24 hours. It takes us about one week to find out the specific enema recipe that keeps each patient clean. We do it by trial and error based on the patient's response and we use abdominal radiographs to monitor the amount of stool in the colon and determine if the enema has been effective. If we find out during the examination under anesthesia that the anal canal and sphincters are intact, then the patient has potential to achieve voluntary bowel movements and he or she will receive either laxatives or emodium and fiber. At the International Center for Colorectal and Urogenital Care, we feel that our job can only be completed if after the operation, we continue to help the patient to achieve a good quality of life.